So when I was a kid, my mom said, hey TJ, I need you to come to my work and pick up a dog. It's in my car. I brought this like little rinky dinky leash. And when I get there, this massive head sits up in her van and it's this huge St. Bernard, huge. She was huge and it was a girl, it wasn't even a boy, huge. And drool like coming down the side of her mouth. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this thing? I just hoped and prayed that she would mind me. I opened my car door and lo and behold, she just jumped right into my front seat. I didn't even need the leash. She was ready. She's like, I wanna go home with you. And we named her Niagara because she drooled like Niagara Falls. And my mom has a rescue and we wouldn't see dogs come in and out all the time. Like she was my dog. She slept with me. I mean, I was obsessed with Niagara. Lo and behold, I went to my dad's for the weekend because uh, yeah, he had visitations with us. My mom did not tell me, but that weekend she adopted Niagara out to a family that had a chihuahua, heartbroken. And I think about that dog all the time. I, I, it, you know what's crazy? You know, there are some dogs that like imprint on you and she imprinted on me. Did not realize my mom was gonna adopt her out so quickly. Cause I, we had only had her for a few weeks. So currently I'm at the Downey shelter. It's been a rough year. It's also been a great year. This year I've lost my dog, Griswold. And I told myself I would never get another small dog. Only want a St. Bernard. <laughs> I wanna save a dog. I saved Griswold. I wanna save a dog. Now there is a St. Bernard that is here. His name is Kronos and he's available on Saturday. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna come an hour early to try and adopt him. I honestly don't know. My dog Bernard is my last of my four. I had Griswold, Peggy, Fugitive, all pass in the last three years. Now I'm down to one dog. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I specifically want Kronos. I just met him and he just is everything I've ever wished for. If you're ever in a position where you feel that you're not being the person that you want to be, my best advice is take a break and do things for you that make you happy, that make you feel loved, that make you feel excited about life. So you may take the same Bernard instead of your fan? Well, I'm, I'm gonna ask a question. They won't let me adopt him because I have small kids and they said that he won't be good around small kids. I'm a small kid in dog eyes. While I'm like, okay, this makes me know that I'm supposed to be adopting. Like, I'm supposed to, I, I, want, I want a St. Bernard. I know he's okay around small kids. I need to let that go. And I said, whatever happens, happens. You know, if, it's, if he's, it's whatever, it's out of my hands. I'm just bummed because I really thought I'd be taking home this dog right now. Or foster, maybe foster. I'm ready. This woman right here, man, she dresses like my mom. She talks like my mom. Like, <laughs> she's so much like my mom, it's crazy. Okay, so do you remember how a few days ago I was all distraught and like, I thought the world was gonna end because I couldn't adopt this dog? You know how some dogs, you just, when you meet them, you just know? If you're a dog lover, you totally know what I'm talking about. Um, I worked with Forte Animal Rescue and just with Forte Animal Rescue alone, I've had over 40 uh, fosters. And some of them, I was like, deuces, glad to see you're finding your home. And some of them I was like, <laughs> you know, because you just have that connection with some versus others. The organization that I have fostered through, I called them and I said, look, I don't know if this is possible. And I know this is a reach, but I'm interested in adopting this dog. I'm not doubting the way that LA County um, temperament tests their animals. I just know I met this dog and I'm not worried. Does that make sense? Uh, and if you're an animal lover or knower, then you know. And I, I guarantee the reason why they said no children under 11 is because He's massive. So tomorrow, if he's still available, Forte 
whom I'm going to put all of their adoption details below because I absolutely love them. They're out of Marina Del Rey. I have fostered with them many, many times. All of my animals through the years have been through Forte. Griswold came through Forte. They're going to pull him tomorrow for me. <laughs> there's, there's Bernard. Maybe it was like a sign that I named him Bernard. I know it was, it was actually... The kids named him Bernard, but look at how handsome he is just sleeping. Right now, his name is Kronos. Somebody at the shelter named him Chrono. And while that's a fun name, uh, I don't want to give a dog a name with, the, with no in the name. Because he has to know no separately than his name. You know? Yeah, no. All right, y'all, truth be told, I'm going in with Forte. The dog is still there. I still don't know if, because they've already met me, so I don't know what kind of magical powers we're gonna bring, but we're bringing some magic. It's confirmed I'm getting him. They're bringing him around. <laughs> What should your name be? 